Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all really well. Today we have a requested video from a previous video of mine. I asked if you wanted me to do a kind of roundup of basics, just to basically form a list for you of those basics and those core pieces that you need to springboard all your other outfits. I've narrowed it down to 11 categories and these for me are basically where all outfits begin. Um, it's pretty much, it's kind of catered to spring but I'd say these are for all seasons as well. So I'm going to talk through each piece and the concept of this is not necessarily for you to go and buy this exact piece, but work out what's either missing for your, from your wardrobe or thinking about where you need to begin um, or what kind of colors maybe suit your wardrobe. But the concept of all of these is basically what you need to begin your outfits and really have that strong base um, for everything else to work off. So piece number one is the white shirt. I actually don't think this comes in many other forms, to be honest. I think everyone can benefit from a white shirt. And I remember thinking ages ago, actually, we were on holiday and I saw quite a few people wearing a white shirt and I thought, this is the ultimate classic wardrobe staple because anyone can wear it, any age, man, woman, it goes for anybody, it basically applies for everyone and it suits everyone as well. It's just about finding the cut and style that works for you. I have mentioned this one recently because I think it's the absolute best one I've found on the high street. It's from Mango. It's beautiful quality. Um, it's no pockets, embellishment, any fussy detail. It's not too oversized. It's not too fitted either. And I think that's something important to note. I do love a really big oversized and kind of men's style shirt but I think if we're talking about basics that we can use in every way, then this is perfect. And this is so good because you can dress them up, down, you can wear them with blazers, with jumpers over the top, with cardigans, for workwear, for going out in the evening, for more casual. A classic white shirt is really the fundamental basic of your entire wardrobe. If you don't like white, then I think a blue or a striped blue is a really nice alternative to that. But I don't think you can really go wrong with the classic white. Also, um, just to note, if you do want this uh, mango shirt, I went up a size to a size medium. So this is where we kind of go into variations. And so I want to talk about the tank top. I think everybody needs a tank top in their wardrobe, something sleeveless, easy to wear, it's different from a t-shirt. And I think basically what you need to start building once you've got kind of the core ones that you feel like you need, maybe you feel like you need a white one with a high neck. Once you've kind of developed that and got those core one or two pieces, you can then start branching out. And I think everybody needs a high neck one like this. This is a great one because it's a kind of not too high neck, but it's also not a low neck. It's a really nice in between. This is from Arquette um, and it's also really nice quality. I'll link everything below where possible. But I think everybody needs a higher neck version, maybe white, black, gray, and then more of a scoop neck, lower neck version. Again, white, black, gray. And then you've got lots of different outfit variations. Sometimes a lower neck looks better. I think if you're wearing like blazers and layering, sometimes a lower neck can work really nice. So it's just about building up those basics and making sure you have maybe color variations of each. But I think like a vest kind of tank top is definitely a core basic that you need in your wardrobe. Next is the short sleeve t-shirt. I think you should always start with a white one. I think everyone could benefit from a white short sleeve t-shirt in their wardrobes. It's actually one of my most worn pieces within my wardrobe. This particular one I've chosen because it's a really nice weight. It's a really nice shape. It's from Cezanne. They wash really well too. You can see it's not too oversized, but it's also not cropped. So you can tuck it in, leave it out. You can also see that the waist isn't fitted so you can wear it kind of 
quite casually as well if you wanted to. That said, I think once you've got your kind of key piece, which is the classic white t-shirt in a kind of mid-weight, then you can start building up your basics within your um, t-shirt wardrobe, if you like. So you could go for a heavier weight t-shirt, maybe an oversized t-shirt. You could then maybe go for a black one, a gray one. Again, just building up those colors in your wardrobe so you've got um, variation as your building blocks as well. And again, I will link all of these kind of alternatives, good alternatives, in the description box below. Um, but I think there are multiple options you can go down, start off with the classic white t-shirt and then build from there. So once you've got your short sleeve t-shirt nailed, it's all about the longer sleeve t-shirt. We all need long sleeve t-shirts within our wardrobe and I wanted to show the classic Breton stripe one as an example. I think having a nice um, striped t-shirt is a really good basic. It just feels a little bit different, but it's also very, very wearable. It's classic. It's got that French chic look to it. It styles really nicely with everything from skirts to trousers, wide leg trousers, crop trousers, denim it styles with, but also smart pieces as well and different colors too. So I think a classic striped t-shirt is a great starting point, but again, start adding and building up the long sleeve t-shirts, white, black, gray, I think is always essential. Go with what you feel like you're missing, go with what you feel like suits you. A lot of people don't feel like they suit black, so obviously don't add that in. Maybe go for a pale gray instead, but I think it is nice to start building up your colors of these basic pieces. The next basic I think we should all own is a fine knit jumper. Um, I've spoken about this so many times, um, but it's the Uniqlo Merino knit jumper. Um, personally, the black one for me is my most worn. I also have a cream one that's been very, very useful. The black I have two different versions of. Um, my mum has the black. They're just incredibly useful for all year round. When you're looking for something a little bit warmer and heavier than the t-shirt, these look really good. I actually took this kind of thing to Parma last year. We went on a kind of spring city break and they're so useful in the evenings on holiday um, when you want to dress them up because all you need to pack in your suitcase is something like this with some nice jewelry um, and then you can wear this for day and for night. I think a black one is a really good place to start. I know I said not everybody suits black, which is fair enough. You can go for a different color. But for me, the black is really useful because you can translate it to evening as well. However, again, like I say, you can start building these up if you want a couple of different color variations in this kind of lighter weight. Merino is also a really good one to go for because they can be washed easily. Whereas if you go for a cashmere, it is harder to wash and maintain. Um, so this just very, very useful, very versatile. For me, a key basic in my wardrobe. My final top is the cardigan. And again, of course, you can go for any color. I think it should always be a block color if we're talking about basics. Any color that suits you. I've gone for this beige one from Arquette, it's new, um, but I think they might have sold out. I'm not sure whether it's coming back in stock or not, but I'll link this and alternatives below. I think a cardigan is a really nice um, piece to have in your wardrobe because you can wear it as a top if you want to, but you can also wear it open, layering up other basics too. Um, again, it has to be a neutral. I think that is the key of all of these pieces if they are going to be those building blocks from which you apply everything else, you need to go for those neutral core pieces. And also it just means kind of less wastage in your wardrobe because you will be able to wear these with a lot more pieces. This will also look great kind of layered over dresses for spring, summer too. So I think a nice cardigan, not too oversized, not too fitted, mid-weight. It could be a high neck if you want to, or it could be a V-neck again. I think work out what suits your body shape. A neutral cardigan is something I think everybody needs to own. So let's move on to bottoms now. And I think a smart pair of trousers, again, something we all need in our wardrobe. This is the example I'm showing today. Just from H&M, they're a smart, straight leg, 
Again, it doesn't have to be a straight leg if that's not your style. If it doesn't suit you, a wider leg. I think the concept here is a nice, smart, tailored style trouser. Doesn't have to be expensive either. And I think that's important to note with all of these pieces. For example, I've got the mango shirt, which was really affordable. These are 20 pounds. I've had variations of them for years in my wardrobe and they've lasted really nicely. The quality has actually um, lasted. The, the fabric hasn't gone. I actually got a dog pair a few years ago. I think a smart pair of trousers. Again, any color, but I think a neutral, black, gray, maybe a beige even. Smart, tailored, slim fitting or a wider leg. So moving on to jeans, basically the same concept of the trousers, a jean shape that suits you in a kind of mid-ish wash, nothing to stand out, um, nothing with embellishments, nothing with kind of fancy fussy pieces on it, um, just a really simple um, jean. I've gone for this Everlane straight leg cheeky jean. Um, these go with all of my pieces in my wardrobe. They kind of suit me, they just work for everything. Um, they style well with lots of different shoes. I think find that style that works for you. Again, if a wider leg suits you, go for that. But the key is just a pair of jeans that go with everything. And then we move on to the skirt. Now I did just go for a denim skirt just as my example. We really need to cater this to ourselves and our own wardrobes, our own style as well, I think. Um, but there are a lot of key factors I think to include. I've gone for a denim skirt because I think it's very, very wearable. It's straight, it's maxi, again, goes with lots of different tops. It's very simple, it is basic and it's minimal. Again, denim goes with absolutely everything. You can dress this up in the evening with a really nice top or a black blazer, some heels, heeled boots it goes with. It also goes with everything from flat boots to sandals in the summer, to ballet flats, to loafers. So find that skirt that suits you, suits your body shape, suits the other pieces in your wardrobe. Maybe you prefer just like a straight black skirt. Um, maybe that could be a mini, maybe it's a midi, maybe it's a kind of pleated long plain skirt. But, but I just really want to stress the fact that it's gotta be quite plain in order to be considered one of those basics that you turn to time and time again. Finally, two jackets which I think are essential for a lot of the time of year. I think this is really essential for all times of year and that is the black blazer. I specifically would recommend a black blazer just because of the amount of wear I get out of them. It's just that piece that I really turn to time and time again. This is a really good one. Again, our kit, I'll, I'll link alternatives below. But a black blazer for me, it's classic. Again, dress it up in the evening, dress it down in the daytime. Um, it works for the midwinter and it also works for summer with some lighter pieces. It works for spring, autumn, every weather in between. You can layer it up, just wear simple tank tops underneath it again if you wanted to. But they are honestly just such a useful piece within my wardrobe. However, that said, like I said about everything else, you might suit a paler color, a gray, a beige, a tan, a camel, something block colored in a neutral um, that you know will get a lot of wear out of. Just a blazer, a little bit oversized, will always come in useful in your wardrobe. And finally is the trench coat. A trench is always one of those pieces that we get recommended as a basic, as a wardrobe classic, as a staple. Um, and with good reason as well. I love my trench coats, especially at this time of year. I get so much wear out of them, especially if they're a little bit oversized because then you can layer with a jumper if you want to. They're perfect for transitional weather because they look quite kind of spring-like and they look lighter, but you can layer them, like I say. Um, I personally think, again, a nice, pale neutral shade like this color. This one is from Cezanne. I went up to a size 40 in this just for reference to get a bit of an oversized look. I personally love this greeny beige and I do think it suits a lot of skin tones. However, you could go for a much paler color. You could go for a more camely color, more tan, or this kind of greeny undertone or even like a gray undertone. Um, I think a lighter neutral though in a trench coat 
is the way to go um, and I think definitely a basic that you can turn to time and time again. So those are the 11 basics I think we should all have in our wardrobe. And then as I say, over time, once you've got those key pieces nailed, you can start adding in different color variations, maybe different weights of fabric to really build up and create that foundation for the rest of your wardrobe. Um, Cause without these, I find that a lot of my pieces don't go together. And I actually find that I have a variation of all of these in at least one of my outfits. I mean, you can see here, I'm just wearing some simple jeans, which is like what I talked about here. And I'm, I often find that I'm wearing a t-shirt as a base layer. And I, over time, have built up different colors of these. So I would recommend doing that as well. So I hope this has been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Um, let me know if you want me to talk about basics anymore, go into more depth. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.